Hey everybody and welcome back to another video here on Life Side. Oh hi! You probably noticed that I was about to say Life Side of Norway, didn't you? And this is Tech Side of Norway. So what's going on? Well, originally I uploaded that video to that channel. But, you know, Tech now lives here, so does this video. So if you see me referencing Life Side of Norway in any of the videos on this channel, that's just why. I hear you're wondering why I'm in my work pants. Oh, you can't see it, but you're still wondering. I know you do. Um, and why we're at home. Are we doing work? Are we going to work? We're doing more home improvements because you guys loved it when I did the wall. Uh, and today we are going to be in start. Do you mind? Um, okay, you go that way, I go that way, okay? Fine, I'll go this way, you stay, okay? No worries. Today, we are installing the Ubiquiti, what's it called? Uh, Unify Access G2 starter kit together with their Maglock 270 on my main entrance door, right over there. I've already done some pre-work. Okay, fine, we'll put it there. Just stay. I've already done some pre-work. You can see there's a cable, barely you can see it. Oh, it's up there because uh, I had to run it from under my TV bench and through the wall and it was a lot of work because somebody messed up. But it's done, okay? So we can do the maglock. So we got to drill a hole uh, in the door, we got to drill a hole in the outside of my house, we got to pull some cables and I thought you guys can join. Um, Ubiquity, if you're listening, if you're going to sell your products in Norway, you got to do a little bit better because Uh huh. See, got you. Uh, in the kit for the maglock, they give you this bolt that's supposed to go through your door, and it's not very long. In Norway, this is an interior door. I don't know if this screw is for interior doors, but your kit's rated for outside use as well. And I contacted your support and ask for a longer bolt or the specs of the bolt and I just got a basic reply, we don't have it. That's it. So do better because I had to go get a longer bolt. I need to move this little rubber thingy if I need to, I will. But uh, I got a bit of a longer bolt. So we need to cut this to length as well because my door isn't as wide, I think. I just got the longest one they had because... Hey, kitty. Uh, because why would I get a shorter one? But this is substantially longer than just these two itty bitty ones. I also had to massage. Um, that's not on you though, Ubiquity. That's on my door product producers. Uh, I had to massage your uh, bracket a little bit, cut off a little bit of the excess, and I need to get a spacer uh, stick to go behind it because um, it's supposed to go, technically it's not supposed to go this way, uh, but it, it'll face this side towards my um, door frame, so it'll sit like this and the maglock will be mounted under and um, this distance was this distance was just 11 millimeters too thick. This one's 11 millimeters, so perfect. But other than that, I think your kit is great. If you are not familiar with the uh, smart locks that Ubiquity make, um, they're kind of great. They make a different version as well with a uh, proper one, uh, the Pro version with a screen and uh, like you can have messages and all that, but I do have the Ubiquity um, doorbell, so I don't need that because I already have a doorbell. Sadly, they cannot be integrated yet. Uh, so I need this little card reader because this door lock, well, it needs this one on the wall and it operates by these little smart cards which is really cool because if my kid loses one of them, I can just code it out. It doesn't work. If 
my kid loses a key, free entry. And I don't want that. So, hence the lock. Right. I think this intro is about long enough, so let's uh, get to work. I don't exactly know how well it comes through on camera, but these holes are just on the edge of this little designer dip that they put here. I don't know why they do this. Please don't. So we got to move these because that's no bueno. We can't have these all the way down there because we got to drill them out. That one's good. These ones need to come up a bit. And to achieve that, we are going to have to drill some new holes in the bracket. As you can see, originally there was two holes up here, but I lopped off the top, so that's gone. Um, uh, as you see, we're going to have to drill some new holes uh, in between these two, just to get these a little bit up where we need them. So let's do that. Probably gonna need some prettying up. Like uh, I saw that the the receiver plate is a bit crooked, so I'm gonna turn that. Um, and of course, all this uh, aluminum will get painted at some time. I just need to make it all work first. Then I can take it down and paint it, or make a cover or something. Uh, it's not it's not half bad. Like it's not very visible it's so small but uh, I don't like it I'll fix it okay so we need to do wiring so what does this need well it needs uh, the card reader outside oh hello it needs the card reader outside so we're gonna install that as well because we need to cut a hole for that uh, with some luck I do have a hole in my wall here uh, because of the outside water faucet that comes through here uh, so I can reach in and I'm going to mount the box or the control box here ish I think so we got to run the PoE cable that I pulled we're going to run it on top here I'm going to get one of those little covers that run on top of the trim here and I'm going to paint it the same color hello focus uh, as well so it really hides and blends in and we got to come down I'm not sure if I'm going to come down on top it's probably going to be below the butt the light switch focus come on what's wrong with you today there we go 
so that it sort of looks ni nice and neat. Um, we could also go below and just run the cables all the way down and up. I think maybe we're going to go with that. We're going to have to look and see how far the cables reach. But first, let's uh, drill another hole in my house. As you can see here, the uh, kit comes with this little card reader that needs to be outside. Um, that needs a pretty large square hole. Uh, so we're going to have to bring out the fine cut saw to make this hole. Let's do some measurements first. I am looking to put it somewhere around my doorbell, so it'll probably be right here. You see we marked the hole that we need to cut, so uh, let's get to cutting. Well, it wouldn't be Norway if it didn't start raining and ruin your plans. Well, not ruin it, um, but everything got a bit wetter outside, including me. Uh, now that they, you saw me cut the hole and test the hole, um, now I just get open the little hatch and I, I'm still not through to the inside. Don't worry, the wall is thicker than that. I gotta figure out a way to get there. I might have to loosen up the outside faucet and try to fish in through there. We'll see. It's just a cat five cable anyway, so it's not a lot of work. So um, I'm gonna do that without the camera outside because wet and I don't want the wet camera, okay? You guys stay inside, stay dry. I'll go outside and get wet, okay? It took a lot of fishing and drying. First, I tried to go by the water faucet. No bueno, there's a disc or something inside there protecting it. Good though, but not possible. So I took out the uh, ring doorbell, oh, not the ring, sorry, ubiquity doorbell. And uh, I managed to go in through where those cables go. And uh, after extending this hole <coughs> a little bit, this was originally here, uh, I opened it up a bit. We got her through. So now we gotta connect a Cat6 to this and pull it through. Oh, it's a lot of work.
And it is, well, <laughs> temporarily done. I do need to fix uh, that wire. Well, and I do need, okay, let me just show you instead. Come on, don't be afraid of it. Right, I need, I need to fix that wire, obviously. I also need to fix these connectors. I'm going to put either butt connectors or just solder them. Uh, but it needs tidying and hiding, so maybe a connection box there, we'll see. I do, however, have to fix this rat's nest. I was thinking about it when I bought the lock kit to buy a uh, box to keep them in, but um, I just decided I'd wait and see just how it turns out. Of course, uh, this is just prying this open, so I might just drill a hole in this, or in this, just slip it on top. It doesn't really matter because there's no strength and it's not like a cutting edge or anything, but I'm gonna put this inside a box, paint the box the same color as the wall, and Bob's your uncle, nobody knows it's there. I think I'm gonna buy another one of those channels to run down here because this looks kinda messy, no matter what you do with it. So there's that, uh, and I might just use some of the channel to cover up that little bit of cable, oh, cable there, but it doesn't really matter. You can hardly see it. There are some kinks that I need to work out. I might have to add a little bit of a space around this because when the door closes there's a thump which is quite audible and i don't quite like it my kids tend to slam the door so a um, little bit of space might be needed or i just need to teach my kids something i've been trying to teach them for the last eight years but hey who knows i also need to fix so it's not permanently locked uh, i know i can swap these around and set this uh, from normally closed to normally open uh, but then I have to close it and then it reopens the door because there's like a five minute thing. I, I need to look into the system. Anyway, the programming of the cards, really easy setup, really easy. Uh, if you do the same, remember you can't set up the card right away because that needs updating. So it took me a couple of minutes to figure out why, why I wasn't registering the card, but you know. And I need to figure out how to uh, unlock with my cell phone. That's currently not working. It just says no access, but you know, it's, it's just software kinks. Apart from that, I do need to figure out how to get it integrated into Home Assistant so I can use that as well. I do like the feature that this has where you can connect a camera to it and you can use your um, license plate. It uses the license plate recognition software to uh, unlock the door when you arrive home. I have been thinking about getting another unified camera because the only camera I have is the doorbell. It's not really good on distance, and I've had some issues with some uh, kids around the street, so, you know, maybe that's for the next upgrade. We'll see. Um, you guys let me know if you have any questions regarding the setup. Um, as I said, it did require some adaptation to make work with my door. My door is quite special and wonky. Uh, so for your door, it might be as easy as just getting a longer bolt. I did notice that they do give you a little bit of a longer bolt. That's the short one I showed you at first. And here's a extra long one that you get, but it's still, it's not good enough for Norwegian doors. I had to cut 17 millimeters off the 100 millimeter bolt uh, to make it fit through my door. If you have the same door, then, you know, write the measurements down and you can use them. Right, I am going to get some food, some water, and plop my ass on the couch and uh, do some tinkering with the software. You guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you in the next one.